Hello everyone, my name is Riley and this is the RDW Glass YouTube channel. Be sure to check out my Instagram, which is RDW underscore glass, as well as my website, which is RDW-glass.com. On the website I have some stickers and some mats with my logo, as well as some glass available on there. And if you go to my Instagram, I post daily, uh, most of the time auctions, some things for dibs, or just videos of what I'm working on. So Instagram is definitely a cool place to check out daily content. Today, in this video, we are going to be doing a tool talk. So you know the tool talks are kind of quick. We just kind of go over a tool that's very useful in the glass world. And this one is not talked about too much because it's, or not seen or overlooked real quick by beginner artists because this isn't a tool that's available on like mountain glass or any of the glass websites. You need a knife. I have this cool knife here. Butter knife, remember that when we fume glass, it's because fumes come off of metals. So you can see the color of this is different than the color of this, and that's because using this, the fume is burnt, or it burnt into the butter knife and whatever fumes came off of this went right out there. So now, have this nice coated so a butter knife and you always want to have just a cool trusty knife all right this is not a how to sculpt video but I feel like the perfect use of a knife is sculpting how I've been using it recently is to make my pumpkins which I'll show you real quick So these lines in there, just like a little, and there will be a how to create a pumpkin video coming up closer to Halloween. But in this video, I'm going to show you like a little bit of sculpting with the knife because that's what you'll mainly be doing with the knife. And yeah, the reason I say that a knife is overlooked by beginning artists is because it's something that just you look at all the tools available, you have the paddles and all of this stuff, but you don't see this available on there. But once you've been glass blowing for a while and most, you know, intermediate advanced glass blowers all have a knife ready at their state at their little stage here. And it becomes very useful in different ways. Today we're just gonna kinda show a little bit of sculpting with it. We got some National Geographic on the background. We gotta have something cool in the background. have some 12 millimeter rod right here. Shout out to uh, shout out to Brian Bison for a very nice message you sent. Very heartwarming. Definitely enjoy reading stuff like that. What I want to do is take this clear rod and kind of get it like melted in a little bit. I want it to be thicker. We could even take a punchy and push. Yeah, why not? Make it a little quicker. Some stuff on the end of that punchy. There's a video about these. In the tool talk playlist. This video will be found in the Tool Talk playlist.
I don't sculpt with the glass all the time, but whenever I do, I usually have some fun with it. All right, here we go. First piece of the knife. Using it to straighten out the glass, just as we would right in here. I'm not fully thinking of like an Easter Island style peg, but I kind of am. Looking something like that. More like that, uh, almost that Squidward sculpted face that he did too. I like that. Got a few different sculptures in my mind. Um, best way to do it is to get right in. Alright, so this is going to be the face. Let's start with a little bit of that will be one eye. And another. Alright. Thinking do we do a pressed in nose? Let's do one of these style noses. We have like this is some I think three millimeter rod. That is how you sculpt with the knife, which is one main use of the knife. Even adjust his mouth a little more. Give him a bit of a draw. And, uh, either do indents for ears or something, little, little uh, just little things that add up, make it look more and more sculpted. Um, just all stuff you can do with a knife. <laughs> it looks like a wrestler. Like a wrestling mask. 
the jolly bear. I think I got the, I think I showed what I wanted to show, which is that the knife can be utilized for sculpting as well as straightening things out. And you know, you think about it, even your knife even has like these extra ridges here, then you can utilize that to make some cool patterns inside the glass too. And the reason I coat it with this soot is uh, not only so I don't have to put it in the kiln, but also because it kind of shows a little bit of the indenting little kind of cool. Yeah, it's great. Burn that soot. That's called soot. Pretty cool. In today's video, we went over the tool, the knife. Now you can see there's some weird schmear there. That is because I took the knife and I rubbed it in beeswax. Which I should have a video just like on how important beeswax is for glass. Dip it in all your tools and stuff like that. We'll probably see a little video on beeswax. I don't know if that's considered a tool. I mean, kind of is. Because you're using it to make the experience easier. If you didn't have it. See, because I would either call it a material talk or a tool talk, so it's probably going to be a tool talk about beeswax in specific. But yeah, the, the knife. And you can see how important that, that is for just random sculpting. But also, think of how important it is for anything else where you need to get like a tight little mark in something. Yeah, main purpose, I guess, would be sculpting. Having a knife in your collection is very important. Definitely a tool I suggest having in your arsenal. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you guys got some you know, education out of this video and can utilize what you've seen me do. Like, Or maybe that even inspires you to do some sculpting yourself. But mainly I wanted to get the point across that a knife will be very useful in your glass blowing experience. So it's definitely worthy of a tool talk video. And like I said in the beginning, the only reason I think it gets overlooked is because when you go to buy glass blowing supplies, like even in the beginner kits of glass blowing supplies, there's no like knife. And that's because it's easy to go grab a butter knife because we all usually have a bunch and just use one of your butter knives out here. And a lot of people have pocket knives too, so those are the perfect utilization for sculpting in glass. Heck yeah. Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, happy melting, peace guys.